Every business should have a blog. Not only does it attract new customers, but it also builds customer trust and loyalty. It can be difficult to think of what kind of content to create or what keywords to target. A great performing blog post can attract new customers to your website with the proper SEO or search engine optimization. There's no need to reinvent the wheel, so why not scrape your competitor's blog? We are Parsub, and today we'll show you how to create a list of blog ideas in just a few minutes by extracting data from any blog. You can use this list to do some competitor research and see what keywords your competitors are targeting. To get started, you'll need to download a free web scraper. We obviously recommend using Parsub. It's easy to use, cloud-based scraping, and many features we think you'll enjoy. You can download Parsub for free. The download link is in the description. You'll need to choose which blog you want to scrape. For this project, we are going to scrape Moment. They have great blog posts like how to increase your conversion rate and how to add a live chat to your website. So let's get into it. First, install and open Parsub. Click on New Project and enter the URL for the page you will be scraping. In this case, we will be scraping Moment's blog. Once submitted, the URL will render inside the app. A select command will automatically be created. Start by clicking on the first blog title on the page. It will be highlighted in green to indicate it's been selected. The rest of the blog post on the page will be highlighted in yellow. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to blog title. Now click on the second blog title on the page to select them all. They should all be highlighted in green. If not, continue to click on the blog titles to teach Parsub what to extract. Now we can extract more data from this page. Let's start with a date. Use the plus sign next to your blog title selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first blog title on the list, then on the date. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. Rename your new selection to date. You can repeat the previous step to extract additional information like blog author and a quick description. You can choose to scrape the blog image if you choose to. Be sure to expand both author and description selections to delete the URL. Simply click on the icons and then delete the description URL and the author URL. Since the blog is a scrolling page or a scroll to load more, we'll need to tell the web scraper to scroll to get all the content. To do this, click on the plus sign beside the page selection and click select. You'll need to select the main element to this. In this case, it'll look like this. Once you have the main element clicked, you can add the scroll function. To do this, on the left sidebar, click on the plus sign next to the main selection. Click on advance, and then the scroll function. You'll need to tell how long the software to scroll. Depending on how big the blog is, you may need a bigger number. But for now, let's put it five times and make sure it's aligned to the bottom. Now let's grab the scroll function and then move it to the top, just below your page selection. If the blog you're trying to scrape isn't an infinite scroll page, you can tell Parsub to click on the next button to scrape multiple pages. You can click on the link on the top right corner to learn how to deal with pagination. The following steps are optional. If you were to start your web scraping project, you would extract the blog title, URL, date, author, and quick description. This will be more than enough to give you blog content ideas and target keywords but we want to extract more information like headings. Now let's tell Parsub to click on each blog title on the page and extract more data like the H2 and H3 tags, or better known as the headings. Do note that adding this step will take longer as it scrapes more pages. First, start by clicking the plus sign next to your blog title selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page button. Click on no and name your new template to blog template and click on the green Create New Template button. The link for the first blog post on the page will now render inside the app and a select command will automatically be created. Use the select command to extract any additional data you'd want from this page. In this case, we'll extract the first H2 heading. Parsub will highlight all the other H2 headings in yellow. Click on the next H2 heading that is in yellow to extract all H2 tags. To extract more data, click on the plus sign next to your blog template selection and choose a select command. Then use this command to click on more data to extract the other headings like H3 or H4 tags. 
Your final template should look like this. Feel free to pause the video to make sure everything matches. It's time to run your scrape job and extract all the data you selected. Start by clicking on the green Get Data button on the left sidebar. Here, you can test, schedule, or run your web scraping project. In this case, we'll run it right away. Parsable now go and scrape the data you selected. Once your scrape is complete, you'll be able to download it as a CSV or JSON file. Now you know how to scrape any competitor's blogs to help you with your blog content. Just note that you should never completely duplicate any blog of your competitors. However, there's nothing wrong with using this list to create your own blog post and have the same targeted keywords as your competitors. We know projects can get quite complex. If you run into any issues during your project, reach out to us via live chat on our website and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.